and review the concepts we've learned through some examples. Example one, indicate on the figure below during which steps of glycolysis substrate level phosphorylation occurs. During which steps is energy invested? What is the net number of ATP produced? All right, taking these one at a time. Which steps of glycolysis substrate level phosphorylation occurs? Substrate level phosphorylation is the formation of ATP through the transfer of a phosphate group to ADP, and the origin of that phosphate group is an organic substrate rather than inorganic phosphate. So I want to look for ATP being generated, and I see that that happens here and here. So this is step one, step two, step three, step four. Step five is the isomerization of G3P and the other product of step four. Step six, step seven, step eight, step nine, and step ten. So substrate level phosphorylation occurs during step seven and steps 10. ATP is formed by transfer of a phosphate group from an organic substrate. During which steps is energy invested? Well, energy is invested in the form of ATP. So ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP during two steps, step one and step three. Remember that this is called the energy investment phase and this is the energy payoff phase. and then energy payoff. What's the net number of ATP produced? Well, one, two were used, and this is occurring twice, so I have an ATP here, an ATP here, an ATP here, and an ATP here. One, two, three, four. Four produced. So I had four ATP minus two gives me a net of two ATP produced. So the first answer, substrate level phosphorylation during steps seven and ten. Energy is invested in steps one and three, and there is a net of two ATP produced. Example two, what would happen